Hi, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to talk about mean value theorem for integration. In the previous topic, we have been discussed about mean value theorem for differentiation. But in this video, we will discuss mean value theorem for integration. Right? The mean value theorem for integrals state that if fx is continuous on a closed interval square bracket a b then there exists at least one number c in square bracket or closed interval a b such that integration from a to b f x dx equals to f c times b minus a right and the value of c must between the closed interval A and B, right? Now we look at example 1. The mean value theorem for integrals state that if fx is continuous on a closed interval AB, then there exists at least one number C in closed interval AB such that integration from A to B fx dx equals to fc B times B minus A. If fx equals to x squared plus 6x plus 8, find the value of c in the interval, close interval negative 2, 0. Right? Right. To check the, whether the answer is correct or wrong, the value of c must be between the given interval, which is between negative 2 and 0. Right? Alright, to solve mean value theorem for integral, we look at this formula, okay? So, we can jump to step 4. Use integration from a to b f x d s equals to f c times b minus a to find the value of c, okay? But before that, under step 1, First, we need to identify the values of A, B, and the values of B minus A. Okay? Right. And then step 2, from Fx here, we need to find Fc to substitute into this formula. Alright? Then step 3, we need to find integration from A to B Fx dx. To substitute into left hand side formula right right from here we look at the given interval here okay negative 2 here means the value of a right 0 here means the value of B okay the value come first means a okay and the value come the last one means B, right? Right, then from here, we can find B minus A. Means that 0 minus negative 2, which is equals to positive 2, right? Then step 2, from Fx, we need to find Fc to substitute into this formula, right? So, from the given question here, we have fx equals to x squared plus 6x plus 8. Yeah? Then, we just replace x by c. So, we get fc equals to c squared plus 6c plus 8. Right? Right, after that, step 3. Okay? We need to find integration from a to b fx dx. Yeah. So, from here, when we substitute the values of A and B, so we have integration from negative 2 to 0 and then Fx equals to x squared plus 6x plus 8 dx, right? And then from here, we just integrate one by one using power rule, okay? So, we get 
after we integrate x squared, so we get x cubed over 3 and then plus 6. We still have constant 6 here. And then we integrate x with respect to x, so we get x squared over 2. And then plus integrate constant, so we get integrate constant, x, uh, constant 8 here, so we get 8x, right? Since this is definite integral, so no need to put plus c, but we must put square bracket with lower and upper limit, right? Then we simplify this, okay? So we get x cubed over 3 plus 6 divided by 2 equals to 3x squared plus 8x, okay? From negative 2 to 0, right? From the previous slide, we get this, okay? After that, we substitute upper limit 0 into variable x here, so we get 0. And then in between is minus, then we substitute lower limit negative 2 into variable x here, so we get this, okay? Then after we simplify, so we get integration from a to b fx dx equals to 20 over 3, right? After that, after step 3, we continue with step 4. We use integration from a to b fx dx equals to fc b minus a to find the value of c. Right? First, we recall back. Okay? Integration from a to b fx dx, okay, from here equals to 20 over 3. So, we put here okay we have 20 over 3 and then equals to we recall back under step 2 okay fc equals to c squared plus 6c plus 8 okay from the previous slide and in step 1 from the previous slide we get b minus a equals to 2 so we substitute here Okay. We have 20 over 3 equals to Fc, we replace by C squared plus 6C plus 8 and then times B minus A equals to 2, right? After that, we can multiply 3 and 2 here. So, we get 20 on the left-hand side equals to 6. Okay, 3 times 2 equals to 6 and then times c squared plus 6c plus 8. Then we can expand 6 with the function in bracket here. So we get 20 equals to 6c squared plus 36c plus 48. Here we expand this, right? Then we have 0 equals to, we move 20 to right hand side so we get 48 minus 20 so we get positive 28 here okay so from here we have 0 equals to 6 c squared plus 36 c plus 28 right from the previous slide under step 4 we get this right or we can write 6 c squared plus 36 c plus 28 equals to 0 Okay, before that, we have all the coefficient in even numbers. So, we can divide it by 2. So, we get 3c squared plus 18c plus 14 equals to 0, right? This is quadratic equation, right? So, to solve quadratic equation, if we can't factorize, we also can use calculator, okay? So, from here, using calculator, we get C equals to negative 0 0.918 and C equals to negative 5.081, right? And then from here, we can compare with the interval here, okay? With the given interval, okay? So, negative 0 0.918 is valid. In interval negative 2 0 while negative 5.081 
invalid in interval, negative 0, sorry, negative 2, 0, right? So, the final answer, C equals to negative 0 0.981, okay? This is the final answer, okay? Which is valid in the given interval, okay? Got it? Coming up next, more examples for mean value theorem for integrals. You can subscribe, like, and share to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.